Okay, so this is going to be kind of found in a few different spots. So you guys are definitely going to need to be moving around in your module books. This is lesson 26 and 27 put together. Okay, now it seems a little blurry, but I just think my dot cam um, is getting tired. Um, so solving each problem and um, we're not going to do the tape diagram way. We're going to do algebraic and we're going to start talking about a thing called keeping the equation balanced. Now it's an equation because it's got an equal sign, but there's this little thing that I want you to make sure you write down. We call it see do. You see something, we do the opposite. Okay. So we see addition, we do subtraction to keep it balanced. We see subtraction, we do addition to keep it balanced. We see multiplication, we do division, and we see division, we do multiplication to keep it balanced. So what I mean by keeping it balanced is like this. If we drew a line down the equal sign, and we kind of did this, it looks like those balances in science class where you put something on one side, and you put it on the other side, and you keep it balanced, okay? So we see addition of 12, so we do subtraction of 12. What we do to one side of that line, we do to the other side. And this just allows us to keep it balanced. Because if you take off weight from one side of the balance, like in science, it's going to go, if, if you take off weight, it's going to, and add it to the other side, it's just going to go up and the other side is going to go down. We want to keep it equal. So by having 12 and taking 12 away, that allows us to cross that out. And on this side, we're left with just the letter E. Here's our equal sign. And then 20 minus 12 is 8. Now we're ba back to being balanced. So they say, hey, check your answer afterwards. So checking your answer is nothing more than taking the original question. And in place of the letter, you're going to put the number you just got, just like we did a couple lessons ago with substituting. And we see if we're correct. And that's 20 equals 20. That is a check. So that's how we solve it, and that's the check. Now, you just can't jump and say E equals 8 because you just plugged it in and say, hey, 8 plus 12 is 20. you got to show that step in between. So looking down here, we have F minus 10 equals 15. Well, we draw our line. You don't have to draw it here if you don't want to. Instead of subtraction, we do addition. So we're going to add 10. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. This allows us to cross this out, keeping it balanced. F equals 15 plus 10, which is 25. Now we check. And that we take the original equation. We plug in the value that we just received for the solution. And we see if it makes sense. 25 minus 10, 15. 15 equals 15. That is a check. So far, so good. Now, that was lesson 26. Lesson 27 is down here. Okay, and that's lesson 27 is probably somewhere around like page um, one, probably 148, probably. So back to those same rules, remember, see do. It's not over far enough. It's hard to judge it when you're on a dot cam. Okay. We see multiplication. We do division. We see division. We do multiplication. Adding and subtracting stuff is above. So use tape diagram to solve the following. We're not going to use tape diagram. We're just going to do it algebraically because that's what you're going to do in high school. That's what you're going to do in seventh grade. That's what you're going to do in eighth grade. So 3M equals 21. When there is no sign, that means times. The opposite of timesing is dividing, okay? Opposite of the multiplication is the division. There's our line. We're going to divide by 3. Cross them out. This isn't crossing it out to make 0. This 3 divided by 3 is 1. But how many m's do we see? We see 1. We don't have to have a 1 in front of it, see? 
to know that there's one M there. 21 divided by three, we kept it balanced. You get seven. We check it, we put three M equals 21. Three times seven equals 21. 21 equals 21, that is a check. Some kids want to show it this way. So I'm not 100% in love with this method. But if you need that to show division with the division signs, I'm fine with that, if that's the way. If fraction bars aren't good for you, then go with that. It's okay either way. All right, so here. So we start off with division, see? N divided by five. So the opposite of division is multiplication. So when we have this, we have 15 equals N over five. We want to times by five. Remember, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So N equals 75, okay? So that is a 75. I just got big when I wrote it. And checking is done the same way. Okay. Um, now remember this that's cut off is a 75. Okay. All right. So C do what you see, you do the opposite. If you see multiplication, you solve it with division. If you see a division, you solve it with multiplication. And as always, I am getting tired. But I still love math.